what is more important, the perception of how we see a thing or what that thing really is? And I'm going to give you an example. What the thing what's, really is. What's more important, the fact that Martin Luther King is the man that we see that fought for freedom or the fact that he was cheating on his wife? Jesus. I think, ooh, oh no, move. He's a great father. He's a great father. He's a great businessman. He's a great CEO. He's an entrepreneur. He's, he's such a boss. He's such a boss. He's a boss. Look at that man. He's a boss. Look he's at a, him. He's a great father. Look at him, that strong black man. But you're cheating on your wife. You're not a good husband. You're not a good communicator. You don't value her feelings. But he's great in all these other aspects. How are you a great leader, a great CEO, a great black man, a great father, a great, a great leader in any aspect? You're not a great husband. Mm. A great communicator, mm. a great. You're a liar. You're not. You're not great. You're, not, you're, <laughs> you're a liar. not great. You're a liar. You're not great. So that's so that's my. You're point. not great. So I posted this. I posted you're not this, great. The others. God, <laughs> you're not. Is, are you great? Because we don't know if you're great. <laughs> at this point, we don't know. That is triggering. Yeah, for oh, well, sure. I'm a good dad. You're not a good dad because you don't respect me. How the fuck you showing these kids you a good father and you don't respect their mother? Mm. How are you a good father and you don't respect who brought them into this world? Carry them. You're not a great dad, my nigga. If we take the example of, if we take the example of Martin Luther King, okay? He's not great. Plays cheating on his wife and he, it's not your business. That's between you and whatever. So... That's one thing. The second thing is stop putting motherfuckers on the pedestal. Whether it be superstars, whether it be pastors, whether it be, the, all these motherfuckers are human. All of these motherfuckers are human. It's not so much, yeah, they did some fucking shit that was wrong. Right, right. We have a responsibility of putting them on a pedestal. They just human beings that decided to do something different and then you like what they do. That's it. If I'm a good person to you, mm -hmm. I, I posted this on my, it's on my post and I posted it on my stories before, but someone being a good person to you means they are a good person to you. <laughs> someone being a good person to everyone means that they are a good person. In general. And that's, that's my point. But you can't be a good person to everyone because everybody got two sides to it. There's three sides to a story. My side, your side, what happened? Okay, that's three sides. Now, you cannot be a good person to everybody because you're going to be entitled to your reason of you acting a certain way to some motherfuckers. I'm going to have a reason to think you're a bitch. What is the consistency of your character? You cannot say that you are a good husband or you are a good wife because let's make it gender this, neutral. Per, this ain't period. about just, this, this, is, a, this yeah. is a humanity conversation. This, we're, we're just talking broadly. And there were times where I had to stand in my truth and be like, I wasn't a good wife. Going back to Martin Luther King, did we need to know that he was a cheater? Jesus. Would that have shifted the way we, we looked, at him. looked at him and received information from him? I can't take this girl seriously. The irony of this whole thing they're talking about was he a good man? Was this black man a good man? And they're using the fact that he cheated against him. It's mm -hmm. the exact same tactic that the FBI used to try to discredit Martin Luther King at that time. It says a lot that you use the exact same lingo that the feds used to try to discredit his message during the civil rights movement. You have, in a way, taken up the very role that the oppressive FBI used against Martin Luther King. Congratulations. You played yourself. I mean, the mere fact that you can get on this podcast and have the ability to pontificate and all say all this stupid shit is very likely due to people like Martin Luther King who fought for your right to do so. As if that doesn't make him great alone, I don't know what is. Because you wouldn't even be up here to say all this dumb shit about how potentially not great he is. He cheated. He cheated. He's such a bad person. How does the wife feel? She's fine with it. So then shut your fucking mouth. It's not your relationship. She's come out and say, I ain't got an issue with it. Our bond was special. No problems. It's not your place. Me listening to this stuff. You know, the way people talk about cheating, you would think it's fucking murder. Oh, you know, this man freed a billion slaves, stopped the aliens from taking over the world. He cheated on his wife. What not a, a fucking man. loser. What a fucking loser. Did he not consider her feelings while he was out there slaving all those little dark people? Huh? Say that again. Did he consider all her feelings? No, no, no. no. What a fucking that's, loser. That's what, I... what a fucking loser. What? She's hurting at home right now. What about in her titties? She's what? hurting. What about her what? 
Huh? What about a what? Her fucking feelings. What feelings? Fucking feelings. <laughs> what a what? Look at his face. No, no, you your fucking feelings. <laughs> wrong with your I don't. Face? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, I, I, I wish historians what's would just wrong, get together what's wrong, what's wrong with and your consider face? the legacy of every historical figure and be like, well, we understand that uh, he had advanced England into the new age, but he cheated on someone. I mean, they, yeah, it's okay. They take it personal. I can understand someone taking it personal. I they think, lose. I think a lot of folks have to. Hold on, to... hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Maya Angelou. I'm not even gonna do it. Go am ahead. I? Am I? What was Maya Angelou doing before she was writing books? Tricking. Fuck her then. No, what a disgrace. No, 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 no. She's not who we think she is. Every quote. Oh, hell no. Every great quote that helped me advance or great books, throw that shit in the trash. Listen, before anybody is quote unquote great, they're human. They're capable of good. They're capable of bad. People knew that about Martin Luther King. The reason why they fixate on the good is because it overwhelmingly was much more important than the bad. We all do this in our day-to-day lives. We look at the good and the bad. But the way that you're having this conversation, it's almost like you're putting the two things on an equal level. He was a great leader. A great th- he also cheated. Now, does that put him... What? Who cares? Jesus Christ. Like Every great person that you can think of has a huge character flaw. They got anger issues. Some of them were violent for long periods of time. You know, some of them have alcohol, substance abuse issues. They got past criminal records. Like, it's very rare that you meet somebody who's great and then is squeaky clean. And if they are, they got some deep ass skeletons in their closet. We all got problems. And if we're honest enough, when we're looking at anybody on these platforms or these people making these speeches, if we looked at them long enough, we would stop trying to demand that they try to be perfect because they not. Who cares? Unless they say if you can contribute more than you take away from civilization, that is fantastic. Maybe you're not the best father. Maybe you're not the best husband. Okay, you out there saving people every day. Guess what? You're a net benefit to society. Maybe not to one or two people. Right to those that okay and, and and whatever have your issues, doesn't define you entirely. But for you to sit there and be like, well, he cheated, so fuck, this is complicated. That's it. One thing, by that logic, you, ma'am, are a shitty ass wife. Because at one point in your life, you were, you were a bad sh- wife, according to your own words. So you shitty. So because MLK did some mistakes in his marriage, well, should we quit? What are we talking about? Got and, you. And Got allowed you. him to lead us. Got you. Got Would you. we trust a man that cheats on his wife? Got you. Yes. You have trusted men who've cheated on their wives. Listen, your daddy probably cheated on his wife. There's plenty of people out there who cheated that you probably never even knew. And you followed their direction. Everything went well. It's not because you have infidelity at home that's inherently mean you're a bad person everywhere else. Not that we don't know that he is. I think everybody kind of knew yeah, in that time yeah, what was going yeah. on. But even like what you said, we, we talked about this previously with a deeper discussion, what you said about Coretta. You were like, even mm. how she covered him and honored her husband. She covered him. Mm-mm, mm-mm, she covered mm-mm. him and honored her husband because I'm not... She could have blasted him. If, she, if, if Coretta was in 2020, what would have happened? It, was 2020. it doesn't matter. She wasn't, and that's none of your business. And she's okay with it. So move on. Now, now, now she's saying, like, I know how you would have acted if it was today. You don't know shit. You don't know shit about There's shit. There's people today you don't who know. have husbands who are out there with other women and they have an understanding. You don't know shit about fuck, so. Let me tell you something. Vast majority of presidents have affairs. But what you, what you think? You think these people who live in Washington are all faithful to their wives? Mm. Do you see their wives putting them on blast? No? Mm. Why? Because they have an understanding. Ain't the Clintons still together? <laughs> Guess what? Guess yeah. what? It's none of my business. Nobody cares. I think a lot of people have like a juvenile understanding of of older generations, relationship dynamics and stuff like that. I just, I don't know. To me, when I hear this stuff talk about, um, he hurt her feelings. He hurt, it's like, Jesus Christ, grow the fuck up. Grow up. The world doesn't just revolve around everything that you feel. It's not always about your hurt or your pain. Some people, when they get into a marriage, they aspire to other things. Just in like, I was like, oh, I'm hurt. I feel <laughs> there's bigger things for some folks. Maybe it's not for you, and that's okay. But for you to put that paradigm on everybody, like, 
There's nobody who could. People live like that every single day all over the globe. On Instagram. On Instagram. I'm not committed to you. I'm committed to the purpose. I'm committed to my position in this purpose. In this purpose. But am I committed to you or am I committed to our purpose? I'm commit. She was committed to the purpose. That's not in your business. <laughs> That's not in your business. <laughs> Maybe she was committed to him. You don't know. You don't know because now you're not thinking like her. You're thinking like you in that, like what you think you would have done in that situation. First and foremost, you are not in that situation. You would never be in that situation because that time has passed. That time has passed. That time has passed. It happened when you was not even born. And it was a different uh, situation. You don't know how you would have reacted. Oh, me? No, no, you don't know. Stop. 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 Ain't That's nobody so give a fuck. Ain't it weird to like look at shit from the 1920s, 1930s, and be like, let me judge it with today's state. Yeah, you can't. Stop. You sh stop. That's very that's very delusional what you're doing right now. But do you, boo-boo. Do you. You, know, you don't know what you would have done. 40 years from now, we're looking at MLK. We're like, how did he feel about trans folks? It's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't. Stop. Was he really a great person? Uh, what kind of pronouns was he comfortable using when stop. it comes to other people? Stop, that's asinine. That's just stupid shit. That's not even a point. Malcolm X only believes in the gender binary. <laughs> you think you said something, you didn't say shit. You, you didn't say shit. You didn't say that's shit. That's wild, bro. It ain't, it ain't your business, but whatever. It's interesting. I think the phenomenon exists because when you're hearing about an issue of the past, even though it's happening in the past, you don't understand it in that context. You're mm -hmm. always living in your own. Yeah, you're yeah. living it as if it's now. Yeah. That's why, like, even if you said the N-word 40 years ago, right, even though you may never said it since, if a video surfaces now, everyone loses their mind right Ten now. Ten years ago was not even the same context as right now. <laughs> Ten years ago. Bro. Five years ago was not the same context as now. Yeah. This is five. Yeah. So you want to take my, you want to take Martin? Yeah. I'll go drink some water. I need hey, some man. water. Crazy. Anyway, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Stupid.